we've landed. We found our place for the night. I have Izzy with me. I'm not sure how long she'll stick around. Uh, she's kind of scaring off all the squirrels around here and yipping. <coughs> Madeline has challenged me to do what she has already done and see what I'm made of. I am uh, gonna be out here for a full night. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm kind of excited for it actually. I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna set up my shelter. I have my tarp and everything, so I'm gonna get started on that. Uh, I'm gonna start a fire and uh, you guys are gonna come along with me. All right, a bit of a redo there. I just realized that there's not um, there's not quite enough space uh, in that little area. So I'm going to go look for a couple of trees that are a bit um, wider apart. Shit. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I um, moved a little further over and I hope that this is a better spot for me. I might have to do some excavating. There's a bit of a loggage all on the ground here. So I'm gonna get to work and get my shelter started. Ten hours later here, and uh, the shelter's finally up. So I'm gonna get to work on clearing out all that underbrush, so I can put my uh, sleeping bag down and just uh, start relaxing. I think I finally come to the end of this strenuous journey of cutting all these logs up and ripping them out of uh, the shelter here. Now comes the more relaxing, fun part of um, setting up camp and just getting a fire going. I already have pretty much all the logs I think I'll need for tonight since I just spent like a good hour cutting all these logs up. I was thinking of maybe making a little cradle for myself out of snow. So I'm gonna go down, pick up some snow from the bog area because it just looks like there's more down there. And then I think I'm gonna set it up so it's sort of like a little half pipe style.
But now my brilliant cradle idea is um, complete. And it's time for me to set up all of my gear, put it in there, make sure this is the right length for me. It's about four o'clock now, and I've decided it's time for me to chill out. I have myself a little chocolate here, some water. Get the energy picked up again. I picked a pretty good spot. So much, um, just cause everything in the bog is dead, there's so much good dead wood that's dried. So all my work's kind of done for me. I don't really have to do too much of that. Maybe you're gonna get burned tonight, I don't know. It's not quite dinner time over here yet, but I've decided I really need a fire. I'm getting chilly out here. I'm gonna make sure that the fire is closer to my tent so that I um, so that I don't get too chilly at night here. Bacon is on the menu. And a little eggage. Bell's kitchen in here. The bacon is rather crisp. That's kind of my style of cooking, I guess. So is what it is. I honestly find it very hard to 
film and keep an eye on the griddle here. I mean, I'm not too picky, so I'm gonna eat it. And I'm hungry. Oop. Now it's egg time. There goes my bag. Uh, I was um, attempting to get a handle on this thing. Now, genius me has to figure a way to pour this the remaining grease out here. Um, well, whatever. There you go. Fire, have fun. Eat. Thank God nobody relies on me to cook for a living. <laughs> I think I'd be fired instantly. Hopefully one day Madeline will want to eat what I make. That's my goal for 2024. And yum. Here's a taste for you guys. Yum yum. I don't think it's horrible. I really don't. I think that, uh, not restaurant level, but it's jail level food right here. So it's possible. So as you can imagine, I've had a pretty tame night out here, reading a little bit of my book here, and I've just been relaxing and enjoying around the fire. Haven't really had any breaks since really coming out here early on. You'd be surprised about how much work it actually takes to set up, do the filming and everything, make uh, camp and everything like that, and then Really, I haven't stopped uh, moving around until now. I go to go back to reading, get myself ready for bed. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see here. 7.40. So I'll probably be in bed around 8.30. I think that's gonna be a bit of a wrap for tonight. I'm getting tired and I kind of feel like crawling into my little cradle. Shall catch you guys in the morning. It's so windy out right now. It sounds really nice actually. It's kind of lulling me back to sleep here. It's almost six. I feel a little more comfortable. There's just something with when you know it's morning and that people are awake that makes you feel a little more at ease. Alrighty, that is a wrap on my solo adventure. If you guys liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching.